Your Echo comes equipped with lithium ion iron phosphate batteries. Now, whether your Echo has one battery or two, you'll find them in this compartment right here on the driver's side. Now, these batteries are made by Lithionics and they're 320 amp hours a piece. So if you've got one battery, that's 320 amp hours. If you've got two batteries, that's 640 amp hours of battery capacity. These are already wired into the coach by Winnebago, so there's really only a couple things you need to know here on the outside. The first is that each battery has an on-off switch here on the top. Now you'll know the battery is on when the button is lit up blue, like this. Now to turn the battery off, say for long-term storage or maybe a maintenance task, you just hold down on that button for several seconds until the blue light turns off. There are also circuit breakers for your batteries, which act like a safety shutoff. You'll find the circuit breakers in the main battery compartment. And that's all you need to do outside. The rest of your battery monitoring can take place through the Lithionics battery app, which you can download to your smartphone. Now, you will need to enable Bluetooth in order to use the app. When you open the app, it should search for your batteries, and if it doesn't find them, you can hit Discover there, and it should find the battery and pair to it straight away. Once it's connected, you can drill into the battery, to see how full it is, uh, whether or not it's charging or discharging, and this battery is doing neither at the moment, and uh, whether or not any error codes are showing. And if it is showing something in status codes, you can drill into that to see what the errors are. And this battery is showing no errors. Now the batteries are meant to be pretty maintenance free. They charge without your intervention at all, either from solar power, from shore power, from the generator, or just by driving from the second alternator. And that second alternator is dedicated to just charging the batteries. Now in cold weather, the batteries have internal heaters which are completely automatic, so you don't have to do anything about that either. And finally, here's a tip. If you're going to be putting your Echo away for long-term storage, like three months or more, it's best not to do that with a battery that is completely full. Now for further details on your batteries and storage and maintenance procedures, consult your owner's manual.